Hey everyone, the David Esp here, bringing you luxury, fashion, and lifestyle related content. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of the fam here. Today, we are going to be going over my 2021 luxury wish list. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. This is going to be a good one, guys. Right. So I've scooted over a little bit just so I can insert a visual here for you guys as far as the items that I'm going to be talking about in the video. And in no way, shape, or form are these items from great, uh, greatest to least or in price or most favorited that I do want and least favorite that I want on the list. They're in no particular order. Starting off is number one is the Cartier Just Unclue ring in the small rose gold. Now, I don't have my love ring on with me today. Unfortunately, I know, I know, I know I'm a bad YouTuber. I should have given you guys a visual as far as so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But this specific ring, I did try it on in the store about a few months ago. It's gonna be about a year now since I have tried it, since I purchased my love ring. I do have the classic love ring in the classic uh, size. That specific ring, I did purchase with the intent of stacking it with other Cartier rings. For example, the thinner love band. I believe that's called the, I believe that's the wedding band, but not getting married anytime soon here. So it's going on my middle finger. And in addition to that, I wanted to stack it as well with the Justin Clou. Now, the traditional size of the Justin Clou was a little bit big for me, and I just wanted a little bit something that fit in more seamlessly, and the small size definitely did that. So it's something that's on the wish list here, and it's something that I do want to get within the next couple months or so, probably a birthday gift for myself, to myself. And I know uh, with a lot of my jewelry, I like mixing metals. I like, you know, gold, silver, white gold, rose gold. I like mixing them all together. I'm not a believer in, you know, if I'm wearing a gold ring, everything has to be gold. No, I just don't live that type of lifestyle where I can just pick and choose. So I'd rather wear it all. And I think, you know, mixing metals is a great way to showcase your jewelry all at once in a very cohesive way, of course. Item number two on the wish list is the Tag Heuer Formula One watch. Now, this watch is a watch that I have been on the hunt for for the past couple, like, I want to say about two years now. This specific watch itself, uh, ever since I saw it, I've fallen in love with it. I've seen it with a blue face, with a black face, but I don't know, to be honest, which one I'll end up getting, but it's definitely something that I do want by the end of the year, and I think it would be a great addition, definitely a good upgrade to my little watch collection. At the moment, I have two watches that I wear religiously. I've worn them down to the ground. And there are two Movado watches. One is all gold, and the other one is silver with gold um, and on the band itself. But I do think this is definitely an upgrade from those watches, although my Movado watches weren't cheap by any measure. I do think uh, this is a good watch to introduce into my collection, and I feel like it would have a great home. It would pair so nicely with bracelets that I have, rings that I have as well, and it's just such a super seamless watch that I do like. And as I mentioned, it's, it's an item that I've been on the hunt for for the past two years or so. And I hope that this is the year that finally make it true. Third item here on the wish list is the Gucci GG Rython sneakers. I hope that's how you say it. These particular sneakers, I did see them a few months ago. I want to say during the winter time. I did see them in person at the Gucci store and I instantly fell in love only because I love the idea that Gucci has mixed in all the GG prints that they've had over the past couple of years or, or so, the, meaning the classic GG Supreme print, the, the GG Supreme with the blue navy in it as well, and a couple of other prints um, all GG'd out. And I do think it's one of those dad sneakers that does a lot, but it's a little bit understated as well. Uh, and I do like that aspect of the old and new prints all mixed into one. And I would get only this colorway. I know it comes in another colorway. I believe a white with a blue and a yellow, but 
not really my style. I feel like this colorway would fit into my wardrobe perfectly. It is a shoe that is a little bit cheaper. I think it goes for about $790. It is a shoe that is a little bit cheaper than other shoes that I do have in my collection. But I have seen Gucci shoes go on sale in the past before. And that's something that I do want to know with some of these items on my wish list. They tend to do go in the sale. Who wants to pay retail at the end of the day? The fourth item on my 2021 luxury wish list is the Loewe Puzzle Bag. The Loewe Puzzle Bag has been on a personal wish list of mine for I want to say about a year or so. I've always appreciated this bag on other people and I love, I love, I love, I love, I love how understated the item is itself. I just think it's a, it's a very chic, very elegant bag. I don't think elegant would be the word, but chic. It's definitely one of those bags that if you know, you know. If someone knows about Loewe and someone knows about fashion, they'll know exactly what that, that bag is. And to be honest, I love things like that. I don't like buying into trends only because I think it's a constant waste of money trying to keep up with trends. I'd rather buy classic pieces that I can wear or use over the next five or 10 years or so or even longer than that. But I do think the Loewe puzzle bag would be one of those forever bags in my collection only because it's been around for a very, 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 very long time and I don't think it's going away anytime soon. And it comes out in so many colors, so many different variations. Personally, I think the color that I would get is more of a muted brownish type of gray color only because I don't have a bigger style handbag in that specific colorway and I do think that type of neutral would fit into my wardrobe perfectly for the winter and fall months and it's a bag that you can crossbody it, you can wear it on the shoulder with the strap, you can carry it only top handle, it's such a versatile bag and I've seen it in person actually and it's very large. Uh, the style that I would get is either the mini size or the small size. I wouldn't do the nano and I wouldn't do the larger either. The large is too large for me. I think it just sits awkwardly on the body. And the mini size, I just told myself I wasn't going to get any more mini bags. I'm probably lying. I'll probably have another 10 mini bags by the end of the year. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but this Loewe puzzle bag is one of those bags that I have that I have been on the hunt for for quite some time now. I just, just, just do not want to pay about $2,500, I believe, is the small size and the mini size, I believe, is about $1,900. I do not want to pay that price. I want to pay a little bit cheaper. It does sometimes go into the sale on some sites, for example, Essence. I know it goes on sale when they have their sale times. But I do, I do, I do want to add this into my collection. As I mentioned, I would only get about a creamy taupe or an off-white kind of color. Only because it would add such a good touch into my handbag collection and it's such a versatile piece. The next item on my wish list is the Goyard Plummet Pouch Wallet Crossbody type of bag. Now this specific bag, I kind of fell in love with the bag around early March when I did purchase my Goyard wallet and I'll link that video down below just so you guys can check that video out after this one. And that specific bag, I did see it in the red colorway and I know personally what I want my Goyard collection to look like. I want all the colors that they do offer in different types of styles. but. Focusing on this specific bag, it's been one of those bags that I've always put on the back burner. Other things come onto my wish list, other things come off, and I just, to be honest, I never get around to purchasing it. The bag itself, I believe it's about $1,300, so roughly. It is coated canvas, so I know it's going to last me a minute, but it's honestly a couple, a couple pieces of canvas just like glued together, stitched together, I should say and not much fits in between. It's a great going out bag, don't get me wrong. For example, at nighttime, you wanna bring a card case, your phone, a lip gloss, and that's it really. You're not fitting much in there. I can't put in my vlogging camera or anything into that specific bag. 
But I do think it's a cute going out bag and I would love it in the red color only because if it's Goyard, you have to get a color, personally. That's all I say. But this specific bag, as I mentioned, for the price that it is, yeah, I could find a better bag or a bigger bag, I should say, as well. But it's still on the wish list because it's an item that I expected on buying towards the summertime strictly for summer use. But here we are a couple more months before summer and I have not purchased it just yet. Sixth item on the wish list is this YSL monogram belt. Now this specific belt I have been loving, 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 loving ever since I sold my Gucci GG Marmont, frame Marmont belt. I didn't have the classic Marmont. I thought my framed Marmont belt would take away from the GGs being so large, but it's something that I didn't reach for and all it reminded me of when I purchased the belt was this is a Marmont belt. I don't want to fall into the trend. I don't want to, you know, look like everyone else in a Gucci belt. So I steered away from that. I sold the belt, moved on, and I don't have a luxury belt at the moment. And I do think this YSL belt is a great way of including a little bit of logo, a little bit of, you know, in your face, but it's very subtle. That's what I love about this specific belt. I love it with the black and the gold, the antique gold. It just adds such character to the belt itself. I only show a belt when I have it, something tucked in or when I know it's going to cinch the waist a little bit. And I do think that this specific belt, a YSL, this is a home run. This is a home run. And I do want to purchase this item once again at a discount. And I know I've seen it on sale before. I believe it retails for about $600. I've seen it for about $380, $350 around there, but I know it's a belt that's not going anywhere. So sometimes if I can get it with a coupon code or when I'm going somewhere, I'll pull the trigger just like that. But this specific belt is one of those things that I do see myself purchasing in the next couple months or so, only because it's one of those items that I am obsessed with on the wish list. The next item on the wish list are these Celine flat top sunglasses. Now, if you remember back in 2016 and 2017, the girls, they used to step out in their Celine sunglasses. They had the flat top. I believe those are, were called the ZZ top sunglasses. I'll try to insert a picture somewhere here just so you guys can get a visual. <laughs> Those specific sunglasses, doesn't matter if you were a boy who knew how to dress, one of those city girls that were stepping out every single weekend, or if you were one of those fashion bloggers, everyone had those flat top sunglasses. Me personally, I didn't fall into that trend and I knew that was going to be a trend that was going to pass. So I opted for a much more subtle but still in your face attitude pair of Celine sunglasses. Those were my first pair of designer sunglasses that I ever purchased on my own and I believe I bought them for about $280 and I thought that was crazy amount of money at the time for a pair of sunglasses but here we are talking about a pair of sunglasses that retails for $460. These sunglasses, I've also been eyeing them for the past couple months or so and now that summer is approaching I do think this is a great addition to my wardrobe but this specific uh, pair, I would get it in either the about pinky, brownish type of color, which is more on the clear side. They offer a gray colorway as well, and the black. If all else fails, I'll just end up getting the black ones, but I do love Celine glasses only because another item that if you know, you know about those three dots. These do say Celine on the side of it, but they're very tiny. You see the dots more and they just give an attitude they just give you an edge and they can take any outfit from zero to 100 really quick really quick really quick and they just look you make you look a little bit much more elevated and i love that don't get me wrong i love that number eight on the wish list i have been going back and forth with this bag for i want to say a very long time now I've seen it all over Instagram when it initially came out. This is the Louis Vuitton Scott box. Now this 
is a version that not many people might have seen just yet, but it is a bag that I haven't, well, it's technically not even a bag. I don't even know why I'm referring to this as a bag, only because it's supposed to be one of those little boxes that you put whatever trinkets you have laying around in the house, put them beside your bedstand as decoration, put it on top of a stack of books. It's not meant to be a bag. But you know the girls on, on Instagram are very clever and attached a one of those Louis Vuitton twillies onto it and made it a handbag. And I, I to be honest, I think that's so cute. I do think it's a cute little bag that adds a little pizzazz to anybody's collection. And it's one of those things that I can go down the rabbit hole of trying to find the item. But the only thing for me is I can't justify paying $1,300 for a piece of plastic at the end of the day. It is acrylic, but to me, it's a piece of plastic at the end of the day. I know it's going to be so cute and, and how I style her. This specific colorway, I did see on Instagram, uh, this specific account that I follow that always posts new incoming Louis Vuitton items that this was going to be an in-store exclusive. And as I mentioned, I can go down the rabbit hole of trying to source this bag, trying to locate it, but at the end of the day, um, not something that, that I'm ready to spend $1,500 or so on, you know, making this bag. I literally have to make it, make this a bag, add the, the twilly onto it, braid it, whatever way. But I do think it's something that's very cute. I have never seen one of these in person, so I don't know what it looks like, but if I do end up getting it, of course, I will make an unboxing or I will post it over on my Instagram, which you guys can follow at the David Esp. I'll leave it linked down below. The second to last item on my luxury wish list are these Bottega Veneta tire boots. Now, I fell in love with these Bottega Veneta tire boots about, I want to say, it's at least been a year since Bottega had that whole rebrand to them and they revamped the entire 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 house and these specific boots they came out i believe it was last spring and all the fashion gurus had this boot i particularly want it in the black with the clear sole i know i kanye was wearing these in paris ones and once i saw it on him i knew that is the boot that i want not because it's Kanye or anything like that, but it, it was finally, I saw a man in the boots itself that it just, it, it just made it look very edgy. And that's what I loved about it. These boots, I do want them now for the summertime, although why the hell would you wear boots in the summertime? But since it's a longer style boot, I think they would look great with a pair of Levi shorts, a simple top, throw on a bag with those Celine sunglasses and I have an attitude all of a sudden, but these these boots are something that I do want to add to my collection and I have seen them before in person. I've just never tried them on and I think that's the reason why I've just never pulled the trigger on them. And also they're very chunky and I'm a size 11, size 44 European and in some certain shoes my foot could look huge and I'm not that big in figure. And I'm only 5'8", so sometimes some things look a little crazy. But uh, this definitely is a boot that I would love now for the summer months, just to pair with some shorts. And also, use them in the fall winter time. Hello, they're boots. Last item on my wish list, and the only ready-to-wear piece that I do have on this list. As far as ready-to-wear pieces, I'm not always on the hunt for them. It's only if I see them come across and they're at a really good discount will I purchase them as far as luxury ready-to-wear pieces only because there's such a steep amount in money. This specific item, I've been texting essays, I've been calling, I've been trying to buy on the resale market, but this specific item is one item that I do, I do, I do, I do want and it is the Chrome Hearts Zip Up Hoodie preferably in the black colorway, white lettering. We all know what Chrome Hearts looks like by now. It's super popular, it's super in demand. I have a couple Chrome Hearts pieces. 
I have, I had one ring, I sold it. I still have another ring and I have a few t-shirts uh, as well from Chrome Hearts. It's such an in-your-face type of brand and it's, it's, uh, it's very hard to get to be honest, um, especially here in New York where especially where i live i live on the outskirts of the city to be honest i'd rather be a little bit patient only now because we're going into the summer months but i know once september hits i want my chrome hearts hoodie and only because i want to go for the vibe i'll insert a picture somewhere here it's of kim k post robbery and she had the chrome hearts oversized zip hoodie on with some shredded jeans and I just think that's such the vibe, such the vibe. It's such a calm vibe. It's a calm vibe, but I'm also doing the most as well. And I wanna zip up over the pullover hoodies only because on the zip hoodies, it has like a little, a little charm attached to the zipper. I think that's the cutest little touch. That is all for my 2021 luxury wish list. If you like any of these items, I will try to have them linked down below in their order. In addition to that, if you guys do like these types of videos, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at davidesp. I do post more behind the scenes type of content, always on my stories, always on my posts, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.